Chapter 4, The Apex Blue Flower Dragon The Wise Dragon Box leads the party to the Forest Master, the Apex Blue Flower Dragon. Yeah, see, we're all rainbowed. Here we are, Witch. My master lies deeper within. But be warned, Frenzy Beasts are swarming the forest now. We'll be careful. Get it. Let's get it. Okay, alright, we're waiting. Put, put this, a little bit of this, a little bit of this. Does anyone have L unlock? I think I've already checked this, right? Oh, the green guy does. Okay. Green and light, sure. Green and light, sure. No green or light here, though. No. Stand corrected. We at least got some light skyfall. Hey, Box, why are the beasts in this forest so riled up? Yeah, it's almost like they've all lost their marbles. You shall know the truth when you meet my master. Uh-oh. Something suspicious. Right, a little laziness, a little laziness. Actually. Save the hearts, we don't need them. Well, why would I save him if I don't need him? Why did I do that? Here we are. Behold, the great starling, master of this forest. Dot, dot, dot. Whoa, what gives? Your forest master is practically falling apart. A nasty haze covers their entire body. It looks awfully painful. A few days back, some wicked creature entered the forest and spread miasma all over. The heck? My master inhaled it all in order to purify it from within their body. So that's why you and the other forest dwellers were so hostile towards intruders like us. Their soul hue is stagnating. The purification of the miasmum can't keep up with the sheer volume they inhaled. I guide you here in the hope that you could save my master from this pitiful fate. They can't even speak in this state. That's a major problem. I'll purify the miasmum with Starling using my witchcraft. Interesting. A lot of hand waving is what that feels like. I mean, we got. Oh, I was gonna change the board to rainbow, but now I can't do that. Granted, I can still. I can still do this though. This is fine. I guess I'll unlock. Sure. No, we don't need to unlock. Let's just do this. Let's just do this. Hmm, we probably need all colors so that we could do guard break or something, maybe? That's my guess. But we're not even close. We just have to stall, it seems like. They're all affected by the biasma. I don't love that either. Do we need a dark aura of this? This. Red. That. I may have messed up the red match. Oh no, I didn't. Nice. Oh, we're just stalling anyway, I guess. Oh, I don't have guard break. I was thinking skill charge. Whoops. That's silly. Okay. I don't think any of this helps. I think we have to wait for that. We'll see. We'll see.
Okay. Master, are you still with us? Indeed, forgive me, Box. I have caused you much misery. I owe you my thanks, young witch. Your efforts have cleansed me of that heinous miasma. It was nothing. I came to ask you about the magic blue roses. I need you alive for that. <laughs> Learn to take a compliment sometimes, sis. Sheesh. The blue roses. I see. You are correct to assume I know of that flower. A blue rose is one's own magic power distilled and crystallized through sorcery. Its genesis requires much magic. The magic of the seal currently in your possession is not quite enough for the task. Fine by me. That just means I must find a way to make up for it. Ricci succeeded in learning about the Blue Rose. Now for her next step. Chapter 5. Box Request. As they exit Starling's Forest while thinking of their next move, someone calls out to Ricci. Pardon me, witch. Would you spare a moment? Oh, hey, Box. What's up? I have further need of the strength that saved my master. A dear friend of mine is suffering from the same affliction as my master. Could you find it in your heart to help? Hmm. Hmm. I guess. Maybe I'll be willing to do such things. And by that I mean, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, sure, why not? Hey, Oria, your sister must be quite annoyed by this detour to help me out. Not a chance. Sis isn't shy about saying no to things she doesn't want to do. She may give a cold shoulder now and then, but she's also got a soft spot or two hidden in there. Repose. Oria. Yeah. Okay. This. 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 Oh, I didn't set up those darks for a good skyfall. That's my fault. It's okay. That's my friend, Asgard. Such festering. The miasma has eroded his soul to this extent. How terrible. That nasty stuff got inside of him before our master could absorb it. He lost his senses. Now he lashes out at anything that approaches. I beg you, witch, please save my friend. I'll use my magic, after he's calmed down a bit, that is. If you want to save your friend, you better stop him first. And of course, you've got us to support you in that endeavor. In your endeavor. You have my thanks. This will only sting a little, Asgard. Please, bear with it. Here we go. Mmm, color absorbed, huh? Sure, I'll do a little bit of this. Why not? Why not? I guess I should TPA, I suppose. I don't even think anyone but Ricci has TPA. Yeah. That's okay. What? What was I? Excellent work, sis. You've cleared that miasma right out of Asgard. Asgard, my friend, thank the stars. You're back to your old self. Fox, I am sorry I worried you. Thank you, everyone. You saved my... Bosom friend? Oh, you saved my bosom friend. Okay, that was... I, you purified the miasma? Thank you, I am in your debt. Take this as a token of gratitude. Seal? That's an interesting... That's not a seal. It's like a spiny thing. My power dwells within it. A witch like you can convert it into magic. It should come in handy. Mission complete. Chapter 6. The Pirate Way. Having saved Box Friend, the team sets out once again. We still got Box with us, though. Say, Box, are you sure it's okay for you to come along with us? Positive. I am indebted to you for saving my master and friend. Master even gave me permission, so let me help. Now then, what should you reckon what do you reckon your next step should be? If I don't have enough power to create a blue rose, then I need to I just need to get more. Sis knows a guy who knows all about magic and seals. 
We're gonna go pay him a visit. Frowie knows the way. All we have to do is follow. Frowie is the hat. Frowie is the hat. Guess I'll do the unlock, sure. I guess I'll do the unlock. Oh, whoops, I connected the blues. That was silly. That was silly. Doesn't really matter though. Look, the seal. It's the, oh, it's the sea. I thought that said seal. <laughs> Just look at that water sparkle. Connie's pretty thrilled to see the ocean, huh, sis? She sure is. Oh, sis cracked a smile. <laughs> Nice to see them both enjoying themselves a bit. Planet of Shining Ice. Okay, here we go. Only missing the red, but it's probably still fine. Everything is pretty easy to kill so far. A vast ye build sucking landlubbers. Oh wow, that that beauty's riding the ship shape ship shaped dragon. Nice. She must be the pirate captain who frequents the waters around these parts. A Wilda, I believe they call her. What does a pirate want with us? <laughs> is you the witch on a quest for a certain blue b blossom? Sounds like the perfect rare gem to add to me precious collection. Best hand it over, me hearties. Uh, I think there's a bit of a miscommunication, Miss Pirate. We haven't found it yet. What I wants I takes. That's the pirate way. Now prepare to be boarded, ye scallywags. Uh, jeez. At least finish the parlay before you plunder. A lot of pirate referencing there, nice. Do a little bit of this. Do a little bit of this. I guess I should do this. No, let's do this. They both get rid of the nerf. Yeah, alright, that's fine. They both get rid of the nerf. Hey, get over there. Alright. Should be all set. Oh my sky falls. Very cool. Sink me, ye haven't found it yet. Now she listens to us. I'm not loving this pattern. We've yet to check all the boxes needed to produce a rose. Now be gone, pirate. Is that so? Fair enough. Whoa, this is going more smoothly than I expected. Yet means ye have designs to spawn one in the near future. That makes things easy. All I gotta do is six, stick to ye like barnacles on a blue whale till you produce a rose. Okay, now this is going exactly as unsmoothly as I expected. What do you think we should do, Lady Ricci? I get the feeling she'll follow us no matter what we say. Right you are, matey. A pirate don't give up on booty, even of the hypothetical variety. My journey somehow managed to get even more ahoying. Oh, she did a joke. Richie did a joke. Rare footage. 